Hi everyone and welcome to the first lesson in our core training entitled Five Questions First Time Investors Should Ask Before Investing on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. I'm Samkelo Makoko, your instructor, and I'll be taking you through the course. In this first lesson, I'll be taking you through a course overview and give an idea of what to expect throughout the course. So let's get into it. I've noticed that in South Africa, the average person on the streets usually has a flawed idea of what it means to be an investor in markets such as the shares market, the forex market, and the commodities market, where commodities such as oil and gold are traded. Some people think it's gambling and as a result don't want anything to do with it, while some people think it's a get-rich-quick scheme and assume that as soon as they invest in financial markets, they'll be instantly rich overnight. <laughs> some people with silly mentalities even think that investing in financial markets is an activity only reserved for the rich and wealthy individuals of society. But I beg to differ. The flawed idea that investing is only for the rich and wealthy is actually not true at all. And if you're one of the people who thought this was true, I have some bad news for you. But I also have some good news too. So let me start with the bad news first and get it out of the way. The bad news is that a lot of people have been sold the wrong idea about investing in financial markets. In South Africa, the information the average person has about investing in financial markets, whether investing in Forex or investing on the JSC and buying shares, has a lot of myths and misconceptions. And I attribute the source of these misconceptions to two underlying reasons. The first reason is the recent rise in Ponzi schemes in South Africa. The likes of Triple M and other so-called online stock fails. The likes of my KP, my deposit 24 and so on, all of these online stock fails. People were starting to expect unrealistic returns in short spaces of time because they based on how you're calculating. And also this forex frenzy where people think that forex is gambling or think that once they start trading forex they will make money overnight and these fly by night forex schools, those are one of the main reasons that caused to this. The second reason is that a lot of people in South Africa lack proper financial education. We've never really tackled this problem, the lack of financial education. And I want to go into this problem and solve it, hence why I started Lotion Online Learning Academy. I saw that even though I graduated with a BCom degree and majored in economics and supply chain management, and I also know digital marketing and so on, I didn't want to use this information to only better myself and have a cushy luxury job at a corporate and earn money, send you more, or have checks and so on, like the cliche life. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to help people and share the information that I've gained at UKZN. Hence why I started Lotion Online Learning Academy. So now for the good news. If you want to make money through investing in shares, through starting your own business, or through investing in Forex for that matter, acquiring knowledge about how the economy functions is crucial and is your first step. Because in society, knowledge is power, especially in a capitalist economy. But I'm sure you are aware of the importance of educating yourself. Hence why you signed up for this introduction to online trade trading course because you wanted to educate yourself about investing on the JSC. However, as much as I would love to entertain you and tell you that everything is going to be all right and that you'll become an instant millionaire overnight, the truth is there's no shortcut to success. And if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. With that said, all I need from you is dedication in your educational journey Consuming your content and completing all of the recommended activities found on this training will be the first steps towards your financial freedom. If you study and implement all of the strategies I go through, then you will be able to start your journey to financial freedom. You will be able to build your wealth and invest in financial markets. I truly want you to have a solid foundation and I want you to be dedicated in this journey. As the name of the course suggests, this introduction to online share trading course is structured in a format that answers five essential questions every first-time investor should ask before investing on the JSC. I personally created this 
me na some kelo magoto chief kasi economist and you know why i did it it's because i really hated how experts in financial markets experts in forex or shares investing tried to hide behind the hard terminology and jargon they used i hated how investment companies and asset management companies hid behind their investment jargon and their industry jargon because this means that even if you want to take the use of a financial advisor you can't really understand and comprehend their advice because you don't even understand what they're talking about so i decided to structure a course that will allow people to understand how to invest on the Johannesburg stock exchange and structure this course in five questions that every first time investor should ask before investing in jcd as a financial product so here are the five questions how do i buy shares in a jcd listed company where do i go how do i buy them the second question is how do i profit from owning shares in a jcd listed company i'm sure everyone would love to get the answer to this question because we all love money moving on third question is what does investing in a jcd listed company really mean once you buy the shares and you're an investor in a jcd listed company what does it mean when you're a shareholder the fourth question is how do i choose which shares to buy and invest my money on there's a lot of shares in the jcd and a lot of different companies some that we know and some that we don't know the familiar ones that we know are the likes of shoprite the banks um pick and pay and so on those are the companies you know but there's a lot more that you don't know which are very good and do very well so how can you actually decide which shares to invest your money on that's what we answer in the fourth question and the fifth and final question is what risk do i face as an investor and how do i manage this risk investing in financial markets has risk associated with it and if anyone tells you otherwise they'll be lying to you but the most important part is how you manage this risk so in the fifth and final question i show you how to manage the risk you face as an investor the course has seven modules which starts out with module 1 and currently now we are in module 1 and this is the course overview in module 1 you have two lessons only and then we move on from module to up until module 7 so from module 2 up until module 6 i basically answer each of the five questions first time investor should ask before investing on the jc each module is dedicated to answering each question so this means that from module 2 up until module 6 i'll be going in depth on each of the five questions then on the final module which is module 7 I basically sum up all of the information you learned in the previous module so you can understand how they all function together. In this module, I basically introduce you to collective investment schemes such as exchange traded funds and mini trusts. These collective investment schemes are usually used for retirement planning products. I take you through tax-free savings accounts and show you how you can save tax-free thanks to the government. I also teach you about the classic debate in the finance world the debate of the passive versus active investment strategy and show you how to formulate your own strategy if you don't want to participate in financial markets yourself you can hire a personal financial advisor or a financial planner but it's very important to know how to choose a financial advisor and to separate than the ones that have your best interest at heart or the ones that just want to claim that advisory fee and leave you So now that you've seen the five questions as well as the whole seven module of the course I really do believe that getting the answers to these five questions as well as the other supplementary modules is guaranteed to build you a solid foundation and allow you to start your journey to financial freedom it can allow you to start investing for child education can allow you to start investing for your own retirement or for any other goal you might have for that matter So most importantly this training will equip you with all the necessary information and skills to start investing in shares. It will give you a head start and sum up everything you need to know before you can actually start investing and buying shares on the JC. In closing, I just want to tell you something important. 
Once you complete this course, you have an unfair advantage over other people who haven't completed this course. This training is basically simple, straightforward, and effective. It involves having a holistic view of the economy and understanding how the economic landscape works. Because at the end of the day, we are economic agents and we want to satisfy our basic economic needs and wants. Hence why there are companies, hence why there are governments. Because all of these organizations are basically trying to satisfy the basic needs and wants that people have. Once you understand how the economy is structured and how it functions, you will be able to choose financial products that meet your financial goals. You can also decide that you want the assistance of a financial advisor or a financial planner. You can do it yourself or you can do it through hiring a financial planner. It's all up to you. You'll also be able to invest your money in, finan in any financial markets you may desire to invest in. Not only the shares markets, but in any financial markets you want to invest in. Because the fundamentals I would have shared with you will cover everything you need to know. I say this with the most confidence because at the end of the day, the most important piece of information you should have as an investor is that all investment activities conducted in financial markets are driven solely by underlying economic activities. Activities such as the production of real goods and rendering of services in the economy. And also by how society works and things, like psychology and stuff, and how people act socially. So investing in financial markets such as the forex markets, the shares markets, the market for bonds and money markets, derivatives, or commodities such as gold, oil, and platinum, all of these are basically founded on the sole fact that you're investing in businesses and companies that have real operations in the economy and companies that affect the lives of people on an everyday basis. So if you buy shares in ShopRite, for instance, I always like to make an example about ShopRite because it's on a story telling our cool so Madame Yama. So when you're buying shares in ShopRite, you're basically investing in that company you're investing into their problems, but you're also investing into their opportunities. You're investing into their infrastructure and you're investing into their ideas. In closing, this course will teach you about the basics of investment finance because this is what it's all about. I'll start you from the beginning and the foundations of financial markets so that you can have a bigger picture and know that even though you're participating in the forex markets or in the shares markets, there are other influences and other parts that make up the whole. Forex and shares are just a part of a greater range of financial instruments. And once you have all of this information, you will be able to formulate your own unique investment strategy. You can decide whether you want to use a passive or an active investment strategy, or a combination of both. Because if you train as a value investor, you can easily switch between passive investment strategies and active investment strategies. Because you know that behind every market, there are people who are making decisions and influence the market. There's no much for place where money comes from. There's like people behind everything and who are making decisions. So if you invest in shares, you should know that you're investing in a business that has operations and that at the end of the year, the business can either make a profit or a loss. And then when you own shares in a company, how does the money flow? from the company and into your pockets. But I'll talk about that on the question where I tell you or explain to you how you actually profit from owning shares. So what I basically want to tell you is that as long as you have the underlying information about business, about the economy, and how organizations such as governments and other multinational companies work, you actually covered a true story. <laughs> so you can basically invest in any type of financial products you may want to invest in. Now, that's all for the lesson. I'll see you on the next one, where I'll actually be going into depth into the main reason why you should start investing on the JSC, and the main attractions and the urgent need of investing in financial markets. So see you on the next lesson, where I start with the reason why you should start investing in shares.